It started 136 years ago with an idea and the flick of a switch. Now, computer engineers and artists are teaming up, turning the lights on and illuminating our wardrobes. We design electronic fashion. But these dresses are more than that. A motion reactive, technology oriented dress. That means different dresses react to different things, from the movement of the body to the Earth's magnetic field. Our goal for the white dress was to, it was to kind of create something that looked like lifting or, you know, created this kind of like aura of light. And for this dress? As the person moves, based on their footsteps, based on their body motion. It'll send undulating waves of light up and down the body. But how do you get this to do this? We start with a design. I'm the one who works on all the insides of the dresses. I'm not very concerned with what the outsides look like, except where the lights are and how they, how they perform. Perform. We start building, you know, like rough models, rough, you know, sewing something together real quick. A lot of coding and a lot of testing. It's a, it's a balancing act of using delicate electronics in a high-stress environment in order to create some sort of effect. Then we add the sensors and we say, okay, we want to sense footsteps. Well, you, let's use an accelerometer so we can sense the movement of the hip. Uh, or a temperature sensor or a compass. Red, green, and blue LED lights are carefully placed throughout their creations. RGB are the three primary colors of light, and so by mixing and matching various levels of those colors, we can make any color we want. Turning an ordinary outfit into a work of illuminated art. I feel like it's kind of like the next step, um, and I feel like we're just in with that trend. Their next project? I'm kind of excited about a proximity-based design where you have multiple dresses that respond to their proximity to one another. So if two dresses get close together, their colors maybe meld and blend. Or if you get all of them together, they're all very bright. Or if they're all far away from each other, they're very dim. With a glimpse into the future of fashion, this is Inside Science TV. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.